So if you have a Tesla, especially the performance or really any of them, but definitely the performance version of it like I have, you know that it's really easy to get curb rash, which is when you drive along and you're parking and you scrape against the sidewalk. It's terrible. My car has done it multiple times or because of my driving, not the car's fault, but my driving. And there is a curb rash repair from Zinc Wheels for 40 bucks that you can get. I'll link it down below. And I put it to the test and you can see how well it did and all of that. So I'm gonna show you how I used it and everything in between. Let's get into it. This is the box that it comes in. It's the curb rash repair kit. It comes with all these things here, which I'll show you in a moment. It'll tell you which car it's for. This is for my Tesla Model Y. 21 inch wheels, charcoal gray. Here's the wheel touch up paint. And as you can see, it comes with like this nail polish painter on, so you can paint that onto the wheel. Here's the sanding block that you'll use, and I'll show you how to do all this, but this is the ergonomic sanding block. It comes with two different sized sanding discs. You get six in total, three and three of the 240 and the 80. And then lastly, here is the instructions. You can see it's very simple. It tells you what you get in your order. It tells you what you'll need in terms of extra things besides using the product that you bought. It tells you how to get started. And then lastly, it shows you some tips. Three out of my four wheels have damage. This first one probably has the most damage in terms of scratches. There is one that has some actual nicks and I'll go through that towards the end of this video. But this one, like I said, has the most scratches and I think this one ended up showing the most improvement, but I wanted to show how you actually get this thing you know, going. So basically you wanna wipe the wheel down with a microfiber cloth, but ultimately after you wipe everything down with a microfiber cloth, you'll grab the scrubber and put either the 80 or the 240, it depends how deep the scratch is. It's, if it's not too deep, you use the 80 and you'll kind of buff it out. But if it's too big, you'll put a 240 on it instead and you can switch between the two if you want and when you're buffing it you're kind of just rubbing it along the lines to get the scratch kind of evened out and you will also wipe it afterwards with that microfiber cloth to kind of clean it up so that there's no residue left over from you scrubbing it with that sandpaper after you're done doing that you're just going to take that paint and paint it with the brush that comes inside the little paint jar and you're gonna multiple use this. And what I mean by that is you're gonna add layers to this. Uh, I noticed that one layer didn't do it enough, so I kind of rinsed and repeated. What I mean by that, you know, is I'd, I'd paint it on, let it sit there for, you know, five or 10 minutes, and just wipe it again with the microfiber cloth, and then paint it again one more time. I did that like three or four times with the paint on this tire because this wheel had a, again, a bunch of scratches and they were pretty bad. Here's another tire that had some damage in terms of some scratches and things like that. And we did the same thing. We put the sandpaper onto the little tool here, wiped it out, buffed it out, wiped it with a microfiber cloth and then added the paint to it to clear everything up. So here's the first wheel that we were working on. And when we look all the way around the edges, it is looking really, really good. It cleaned it up a lot to the point where if I was myself, I know myself, I probably wouldn't think anything had been scratched up or nicked or anything like that on this wheel at all. Look, it did an amazing job. Now here's the wheel that had a big scratch on it and unfortunately I'm unable to get that out with this kit. So this kit's going to be really good for like scratches but like really big big like tear outs or whatever you want to call them, dents, things like that. It's not going to really do the job but if a scratch like you saw on that first wheel, it's going to do a pretty amazing job for under 40 bucks. But yeah, just taking a closer look you can see. Um, it's, it's a little bit difficult to uh, fix that kind of damage. This is my other wheel. This is the second wheel we were kind of painting up in the video real quick. 
Um, this one, again, has some pretty big scratches. Probably more than scratches. They're, 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 they're dense. So this is as best as it could do. It did a good job. But again, if it's just a scratch, you'd be better off with that. But yeah, this kind of got a little tore up. <laughs> Too much for my driving. Okay, so my thoughts after using the zinc wheel. 40 bucks, it's not a big investment, especially to make your tires look good with scratches. Now, obviously with dents or really big gashes into the rim itself, it's not going to really fix it. It's still gonna look awkward and weird, but if you're just doing it for scratches, I think it's a really, really good deal. Um, you could also go on the other hand, I know some people use Sharpies, but then you don't get that little tool, the little sandpaper tool thing, where it allows you to kind of smooth out the scratch and then you can wipe it away with a microfiber cloth after that point. Obviously, you could probably come up with your own little thing here, but ultimately, if you don't want to and you just want everything to be easy and mail to your house and it just work and look pretty darn good, then check it out. It's only 40 bucks, not too bad. Worked great for me. I know it works great for a lot of other people. I read about it on Reddit a while back and I know a lot of people like it. So if you like it, check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.